What is going on everybody? Thank you for joining me. Welcome to another Xenoblade Chronicles 2 video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys where you can get two chips that are pretty important when it comes to giving side effects to your blade's weapons. That being the Amethyst chip and the Pentagon chip. Now before I get into this video, again I have to say it from now on, there might be spoilers. So, spoiler alert, watch at your own risk. Don't be saying anything because I didn't say spoilers, but if you want, you don't want spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. So the reason these two chips are important is because, you know what? Before I actually get into showing you guys, I probably should have said this earlier, but if you guys do enjoy this or if you do find it helpful, you know, consider leaving a like or possibly subscribing. Or even commenting. All the support really does help me out in the long run. And while you commenting, I can interact with you. If you got some other better way to do this, you know, feel free to leave it down in the description below. You're more than welcome to. Every, you know, all the information that's shared is always welcomed. But yeah, I really do appreciate the support that I've been getting you guys. It really does. It really does make me happy. It does motivate me to make videos. Uh, you know, leaving. You know, letting by seeing that you guys do like the videos, like like actually liking the videos. You know. But uh, yeah, the reason these chips are important is mainly for two reasons. One, as you can see, increases my luck by 50. And if you're trying to build a, a tank, an evasive tank on Morag, getting the Pentagon chip is really useful because it gives... I mean, it might not give a lot of attack, but that's okay because no, Morag's role is simply to... Uh, draw the attention and evade the attacks. So this is why I gave them the Pentagon chips to increase the agility by 50. So yeah. Okay, now the location that I'm at is Kingdom of Uriah. So you can you can get the Amethyst chip and the Pentagon chips relatively early in the game. Although for the Pentagon chips, you're gonna want to be at least level 35 maybe 40 if you can get to 40 simply because you might get overwhelmed but i'll get to that when i get to that so kingdom of Araya, we're going to be covering the amethyst ship first so we make our way over to the stomach right near the stone gate ruins there are two i guess npcs but mon like by like two npcs you can fight and one of them drops the amethyst ship now i've only had them drop one at a time I haven't had them drop two at a time, but I'm sure it's possible. I just haven't experienced that. So we'll go ahead and uh, take them out and see if we can get any drops from them. And we're you. Let us go. You just leave it to me. I'll use my brains to put this team to good use. This will be a walk in the park! I was never the freshest of the cup. I think I'm the best place for the job here. Grand smash! Make oh boy, it's right now I have more skills. Super! I can see that this place will be trusting me. What? My thoughts exactly like this. You'll never succeed like that. Yeah! Much obliged. Yeah. Strong! Yeah. Ah! I missed! Oh, this could be an end better. Oh, this could be an end better. Yeah! No one can stop us now! Come on! Just give me the heads up! Gotcha! Make the oh, money! Make haste and retreat! Let me show you anything! Sure! For sure! Yeah. You're mine! Let's Super. give him the yeah. full treatment! Just give me the word! Okay, so after three runs, uh, after equipping Adenine for the item drop or the treasure sensor, I finally managed to get one Amethyst chip. So as you can see, the amethyst chip is dropped by the, it's the NPC that does the healing. He's the one that has, I believe, the dog. But anyways, he, he's the tougher of the two in my, in, well, at that time, he was the tougher one out of the two. So that's how you get the amethyst chip. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys where we can get the pentagon chip. 
What you want to do is warp over to, again, Kingdom of Araya. Go over to Head this time and get to the Cataracts of Ruja. If you don't know how to get that or get there, you just go there from the 8 Rock Skip. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys right now. And we're now, the place where I'm at actually is part of the storyline. Like, you'll have to go through here to get to the storyline. So you just make your way down these steps. And you can jump into the water and you won't die. So once you make your way down there, jump off the cliff, make your way over here. Okay, so once you make your way over here, you'll see a bunch of these mobs and if you are low level, they will aggro towards you and they will all gang up on you and it'll be game over. But if you, you can pick them off one by one, you just have to be really careful. You might, if you want or if you need to, you can come out here, take out these little crabble, just to build, build up your party gauge in case you do die you can have at least some kind of reassurance. Now, the monsters that we want to take out are these guys, the big ones. The Sprack Parasacs, they drop the Pentagon chips. These little guys drop what's called a wood chip. They're not the best, but they're decent um, weapon enhancing chips. Let's see if I can, uh, if I have some on me. Yeah, like I said, they're they're not the best, but you know, at this point of the game, they're okay, I guess. But yeah, we'll go see how many. Uh, if you do see an edit, it's me skipping ahead and actually getting the chips. Do it like I showed you, and we'll be okay. Keep your feet up over there. All right, Grumps. Trust me, we can kill this. Ha! Mithra! Let us make use of it Why now. not? Maybe we'll get out Aya? of this alive after all. My thoughts exactly! One shot! Let me take it! Gotcha! Every Adeline! I see you're in need of my expertise. Mithra! What would you do without me? Make haste and retreat! Why not? Aya? Yeah! Rolling yeah. smash! The enemy's element is now dark! I see you in need of my I just love showing people my core skills. I think I'm the best blade for the job here. Eagle out! Just oh, be more it's wonderful! Don't just make star. use of it now! Mortal Storm! Let's finish this so we can start a new search phase. Final! Okay, so I got lucky and I managed to get it on the first try. So there's the Pentagon chip. Again, it's really good. It's useful against with the katanas if you want to increase your agility. I'll make a separate video explaining what uh, weapon chips. I'm working on that. But this video is just to show you it's two of the semi-important ones early game. But yeah, that was it for this video. Again, let's uh, recap real quick. Location. Kingdom of Uriah, if you want the Amethyst chip in the stomach, it's part of the storyline. You'll make your way over here, the Stone Gate Ruins. You'll run into these guys, take out the NPCs, and hopefully you'll get some Amethyst chips. Now, if you want to get to the Pentagon chips at the 8 Rock Skip, just make your way through here, jump into the water, and you will arrive at the Cataracts of Rujah. Again, these guys are level 35, and they will gang up on you if, you're, if you are too low of a level. You can pick them off one by one with some careful aiming. But yeah, good luck to you guys. Uh, that was it for this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.